Hi, this is Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group with today's real estate tip. Today we're going to talk about insurance, specifically insurance as it relates to a common interest community, condo, townhouse, co-op. With us is Jeff Thomas with Minstar Insurance. Jeff, how are you? Good. Thanks, Scott, for having me. Hey, thanks for being here, Jeff. So, say I'm looking to buy a condo or a townhouse, co-op, whatever, and i am you know, got my offer accepted. At a lot of people, there's a misconception that I don't need insurance, right? And uh, that misconception we're going to dispel today, right? And, and, and tell we us are. why we need insurance. Well, the biggest thing is most condo policies or townhomes will have a master policy. It's very common. If they don't, you would essentially kind of treat it the same way you would like a single family dwelling. Where uh, people have the misconception, I think, where it lies is on a master policy, they, in most cases, take majority of that structure. They insure, insure majority of the property. So people ask, well, then why would I need that? Well, you'll notice that on master policies, a lot of these master policies have a very large deductible. It's common when I write a master policy, they'll have a $10,000 deductible or a large percentage deductible. It can be upwards of fifty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 around there sometimes. Wow. So the likelihood of that policy paying out for a small claim is slim to none. You want to make sure that you have something you can fall back on. And that's where your HL6 is going to come into play. Besides the dwelling coverage, you're going to have your personal property, your contents coverage, that after you buy that home from Scott and his team that you move in on the U-Haul, that you want to make sure it's covered. So you'd have the ability to choose your limited Yeah, because the building, the home, the association policy is not going to cover your personal property. Correct. Right. Uh, they might have a little business personal property for maybe, let's say, like a furniture or sofa in the common area or something, but... That's going to be the gist yeah, I mean, and I'm going to say, because most people don't read, well, they don't read the condo docs when they buy, and they don't read those insurance policies, because you really, you know, you really need to be aware that the limits of coverages with those policies. So, so say I'm buying, I, I'm looking at an HO6 policy, what do you typically see for people for coverages, like deductibles and stuff? Uh, well, you'll notice that most people will go with the standard, I'd say $500 deductible. 500 versus $1,000 um, deductible on an HO6 policy. You may be talking less than ten dollars savings per year. Per so year. most people are just going to go the five hundred dollar route, um, and you'll know, find that this is in some cases can be cheaper than a renter's insurance policy. And if you package up with your auto, chances are it might actually save you money. It taking it might cost. be a net savings. Right. Net savings. Right. So. Right. So I mean, we're talking anywhere from fifteen to thirty dollars a month. I mean, just in generally speaking, right? right. Depending, you know, if you have a ton of personal property that you want. To add endorsements to it. Thirty dollars a month. Okay. 40, okay. And a lot of times, what people don't know is your your mortgage company requires that you have this, and technically, you're supposed to add them as a named insured onto your policy Correct. too. And I, I would say less than ten percent of people I've run into actually know that. So. Yeah, I'm finding more and more of the mortgage companies are actually requiring now that the in homeowner take out the HL6 policy and that they have an adequate limit on the HL6. And things have changed, I guess, I've been told. But a lot of times you might see when you go to your mortgage broker, they'll require maybe 10, 20, or 30% of the purchase price and dwelling coverage. You know, and I did know someone who uh, bought, the, bought a condo cash, you know, awesome, but did not carry an HL6 policy. Had a refrigerator water line burst. Oh, no. Not only damaged his unit, but the neighboring unit, too. So there was a a, a, a very large claim that he ended up paying out of pocket. I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, that actually leads me into my next thing I'd like to talk about is loss assessment. Okay. Loss assessment is very affordable. Um, this is a lot of times where it's missed. Is uh, standard on most insurance policies, it's about $1,000 loss assessment. You're going to find that, like an example you just gave me, an like isolated case where two units were damaged, it's very unlikely that you know maybe you're not going to hit that deductible or maybe the master policy just doesn't want to file a claim. They can assess you whatever that dollar amount is, and if you don't have this coverage, you can be left high and dry. So yeah, um, the loss it. assessment, uh, you know, most companies will be anywhere from 5000 up to 50000 and we're talking maybe between twenty to fifty dollars at most per year. Per year. Per year. So relatively so inexpensive. It. Yeah. It is. Awesome. Well, Jeff, this is really helpful. Uh, if someone wants to get a hold of you for more information, how do they do that? Phone or email. My phone number is six one two two nine nine one two nine nine option zero. Otherwise, uh, feel free to reach out to me by email at Jeff J E F F at M as in Mary and as in Nancy star like a star in the sky ins dot com. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, Scott. And I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group. As always, if you want to get in touch with us, the number is 
8888 or 24-7 online at verde-realestate.com. We hope this content has been valuable. And like always, if you would like further service, please let us know. Thank you.